Good morning. morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you're wanting? You know you are a vibrational being? Almost entirely that. Oh, there's the flesh, blood, and bony part of you. This leading edge part of you. But you are consciousness and you are energy and you are vibration. And you offer your vibration through your thought. Through your words too, but through your thought. Sometimes you can say words that don't match the vibration of your being. But you can't think thoughts that don't match. Your thoughts match. Your words sometimes don't. So when you are the creator, since you are the creator of your own reality, that means you are emitting a vibration and the law of attraction is responding to it always perfectly. So what comes back to you always matches what you're putting out. And if you're like most people, you have quite a mixed bag that you're putting out because mostly you are offering your vibration in response to what you're observing. And there's a lot of variety that you're observing and you feel different ways about much of it. And so you're offering a vibration about things you want and you're offering a vibration about things you don't want and when you shout yes you are attracting what you're shouting yes to and when you shout no you are attracting what you're shouting no to because the law of attraction doesn't distinguish the difference in the word yes and no it only distinguishes attention to it so it turns out there's no such thing as no there's just yes to want it and yes to unwant it and so when you begin to understand that, if you're like most people, you decide that you're going to be more deliberate about what you give your attention to. But the law of attraction has been responding to so many of your thoughts for so long that you have some patterns going, some momentum going that sometimes are hard to break because the law of attraction, frankly, won't let you let go. When you have been thinking something for a while, maybe even because your mother thought it, or because a lot of people around you are thinking it, even though it isn't something that you want, because you've been thinking it, it's active in your vibration and therefore showing up often in your life experience. And so we come along as teachers to help you to understand these universal laws and to help you get a handle on how to live happily within them and we say to you, be more deliberate about your thought. But we also must say to you, give yourself a break because you've got some momentum going. A belief is a thought that you continue to think. And the reason you continue to think it is because you've thought it so law of attraction delivers it up to you more easily. Some thoughts are easier for you to think. And you know what thoughts those are? The most practiced thoughts. The most practiced thoughts are the thoughts that are the easiest for you to think because they are the thoughts that have the most momentum. So you need to give yourself a break when all of a sudden you can't stop hating that person that you've hated for so long. <laughs> and the reason that that hate, that meanness within you feels so bad, may be familiar but still bad, when you feel it is because the larger part of you never thinks that way about others and when you do you cause a separation between you and you so what we mean by that is you are more than this physical body in fact more of you is source energy than is this physical body and that non-physical part of you sometimes you call that your soul we like to call it your inner being that non-physical part of you who existed before you did in this body still exists in non-physical still is consciousness still is aware of you still is focusing and still is non-physical so that non-physical part of you 
is thinking about the things that you're thinking about but not necessarily in the same way that you're thinking about them when you see something as a problem your inner being sees it as an asking for a solution when you see something as having gone wrong your inner being knows that you're collecting data and that you're launching rockets of desire that are defining your preferences so your inner being never pushes against anything and your inner being never feels what you would call hate or fear your inner being is pure positive energy your inner being is the vibrational equivalent of what man wants to call source energy or God it's pure love it's non-resistant and that's who you are that's who you are but when you're here in this physical body and you see things that you think are wrong and you feel that anger rising up within you that's because you've defined it as wrong and you're pushing against it while the larger part of you isn't defining it as wrong your inner being is acknowledging its existence but not pushing against it not to get too deep into stuff too soon today here but that's really what compassion is source can look at things that upset you and not be upset and that's what makes source so powerful and so helpful because source stays connected to all of that well-being so that when you are in trouble source doesn't see your trouble source sees your solution when you stood before Jesus dripping your illness he did not see your illness he knew instead your wellness and he knew it so powerfully that while he was with you and you were with him your illness could not exist in that vibrational frequency because of his pure connection to source energy one who's connected is more powerful than millions who are not and so his knowing his focus dominated that moment in time and your illness was suspended under those conditions because it was just vibrationally blown out of the water that's the easiest way to say it just could not exist and then he said go forth and tell no one because he knew if you went home and talked about what had happened they'd talk you right out of it because most people think that as things are that's as they are and you come to know and certainly your source knows that things are always in a state of becoming and that things are constantly changing but for most humans you don't let things change much oh they're changing all the time different places different faces but they're changing to more of the same because your attitudes often do not change you see things in a certain way you believe them in a certain way you talk to people who believe those same things in a certain way and you hold yourself in a vibrational pattern that won't let things change for you where all along what you intended and what you are often doing you came into this physical body knowing that you would be on the leading edge of thought on the leading edge of creation and you knew that as you explored the variety that you would make your personal choices you would find your personal preferences and that as you would see what you don't want you would know what you did want even at unconscious levels you are doing that sifting and sorting and so when you know what you don't want you know what you do want that's that step one that's asking that's asking the minute that that preference is defined by you and it's a very subtle and short amount of time the source within you follows the rocket of desire that you have launched holds steady upon it and actually becomes the vibrational equivalent of it in other words you don't know it usually but because of what you experienced you just expanded because you ask and your source your inner being became that more prosperous person that you wanted or that more loving person that you wanted whatever it was that you were asking for vibrationally speaking you just became it so step one and step two just happened you ask and source holds you right there vibrationally step three is you got to find some way to feel like that and it's not easy because usually the thing that's caused you the problem is what's still active in your vibration that's what makes you defensive and that's what makes you feel like you have to justify of course I want that because I've got this and I don't like this and nobody likes this that's got this and a whole lot of us have this and none of us like this and so the whole time that you're defending what it is that you want 
with your awareness of what is you're holding yourself in separation from what you want and also from your inner being who's over there with what you want not just over there with what you want but having already become what you want so you feel the split energy when you are justifying or defending you feel the split energy that's what negative emotion always is it's you in not agreement with your inner being and you know what your inner being is always way on your side your inner being is always jumping right on who you have become and what you want and holds steady to it holds that vibrational frequency so that you can utilize your guidance system and find your way into vibrational compliance or harmony with that desire and when you do that that's what we call step three that's you lining up with who you really are and what you really want and when you do that you feel the relief happen because the negative emotion doesn't exist you feel the relief happen because the resistance is subsiding at least for now and when you get really good at that when you hold yourself there for a while that's what we call step four step four some tease us step four is just being really good at step three step four is really the mastery of step three that's when your life really becomes fun for you that's when you know we're not asking you to only have positive thought you couldn't do that we're not asking you to never have a thought about anything you don't want you couldn't do that in fact you shouldn't do that you came to sift and sort and to analyze and to decide that's all part of the process of expansion but you didn't intend to get stuck in the harping on what's wrong you did not intend to complain 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 about what's wrong you intended to launch a rocket and then you tended to get over it then you intended to focus upon the solution and begin moving in the direction of what you want with your thoughts and you know what that feels so satisfying satisfaction <sighs> satisfaction is that feeling that you feel when you are moving in the direction of who you really are and dissatisfaction is what you feel when you're in the moment moving away from who you are and what you want and so then step five maybe our favorite step five is when you're back in a contrasting moment some might want to call that step one but the difference is you're exploring the contrast but you're not beating up on yourself you're exploring the contrast but you're not mad at anybody it's just contrast like being at a buffet don't want that want that don't want that want that don't want that do want that you're not saying don't want that because it's evil you're not insisting that they remove it from the menu it might get on my plate so step five is expressing your appreciation for the variety that surrounds you while you hold yourself more deliberately in the direction of what you want